Hi, I'm Don. Today we have another unboxing video. I was about to finish my Chaos Space Marines and then I was about to do voiceovers for a couple of Patreon and YouTube member videos when this package arrived. So I had to play around with this and of course test the wet palette if it works for miniature painting. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today's video is sponsored by Crydrophy. So this all-in-one modular art box from Crydrophy will be available at Kickstarter. So basically, Crydrophy emailed me and asked me if I want to test and get this box and kind of play around with it and of course create a video. So before agreeing to like getting the box and doing a video for like a review of this art box, I had to check their website. So you may check their website at crydrophy.com. I was skeptical at the start, but after looking at the website, I was kinda sold with the product. By the way, watch until the last part or the latter part of the video for the testing of the wet palette and of course my final thoughts. So what do we get inside the box? But basically when the mailman like the Phil Post sent me the package, I was like, what? <laughs> it's kind of small. So I was like, kind of like I was surprised because I thought it was a little bigger. The first couple of modules would be this airtight paint storage. So basically, this paint storage, I think I could use for my speed paints. It's like, although it's airtight, I think it was designed for heavy body acrylics or even oil paints. But not really our like hobby paints because our hobby paints kind of dry faster. So I don't think you should use this for your like speed paints or any hobby miniature paints because I don't think we need it but the cap like the cover you could use as a plastic palette and of course the main palette or the main part would be great for oil paints and stuff because you don't really have to like I, I don't think it will dry especially if you put a little bit more on the module but i have to see and i have to test this in another video so all the modules kind of fit together really well it won't really wobble and of course you have the latches to really like put them together now you also get a four in one like palette palette paper this is kind of like thicker or as thick as reusable papers from Redgrass and they call it 4-in-1 because I think you could use acrylics, watercolors, and even gouache. And they said in the box and of course at the website, they said you could also use this for oils. So like I said, the paper is kind of thick it's i think we could reuse it or wash it again although you'll see later in my testing that i cannot do that for a reason and i'll tell you why but with this one the feeling is that it's thick enough good enough for oils and gouache and of course for acrylics and watercolors however I really want to test this if I could rewash it and use it again for another like session, painting session, because again, it's kind of thick. Now, this one is kind of crazy. It's super thick. The 5mm moisturizing sponge 
really fits well with the actual module later you'll see but it's kind of funny because when i opened it and then like really like check out the sponge it's super thick it's like the thickest sponge that i've seen and it has like it's made of good quality sponge it seems like it's going to hold a lot of water and it will keep like the paper moist and very usable during your painting session there's a little caveat with this one and i'll tell you again i'll tell you my final thoughts at the latter part of the video and of course it's just fair to like share you my thoughts after you see like while i use it for actual painting now you also get a couple of wet palette modules and they're solid black and they have this like clips at the top i think you could use it for extra paper or i think i want to use it sometime with by by putting tissue paper or towel on in on it so that when i wick my brush i could it doesn't move around and it will be stable so that's kind of a neat trick i'm not sure it if it was designed to hold towel or paper but it, it kind of seems like it, it's good to hold your towel as you wick your brush. In terms of the size of the wet palette, of course, it's super small, especially for me. It's, it's kind of small, but it's the same size as one of my wet palettes that I got like a year ago. And the sponge fits really well on the module, but there's a small gap so that you could see that you need to add water. And then the paper, again, as I've said earlier, is a bit thick. So you have to place it, especially you have to place it with like the label should be um, underneath. And then once you place it on the sponge, this is weird. And this is actually weird because it did not wrinkle. That means that the paper is kind of thick. So I think this is because they designed the paper and the sponge, basically the wet palette module, so that you could use it for gouache, which are heavier mediums. And then they said you could also use it for oils, which means you don't need to wet the sponge if you're using oils. So honestly, I don't really understand why you would use this wet palette for like oil paints, but of course you could use the top part, the lid, and earlier the paint storage for your oil painting. So the extra wet palette module or case I'm using as storage for my brushes or you could also use it as storage for your extra paper. With this one you see in the video, I'm going to use the clip part, the lid, the cover with the clip so that the paper wouldn't move but i was hesitant to do this you had to like loosen the clips a bit because the paper there they gave me a lot of paper and it's kind of thick but eventually i did away with this idea and i just placed the paper inside the, the wet palette module but here you could see that the extra wet palette module could be used as a case. You could put your extra brushes here and of course your art knife or even your extra blades or your sub panel liners. Basically, you could use it as a really small toolbox. If you want an airtight like lid on top of the wet palette, it's advisable to put another module on top so that it really fits together really well without another module it won't be really that tight now the main part of this art box for me is this one the water tank module you get separate black tanks and then you get the light blue tank which has a handle in the middle they they all fit together really well and of course you get the brush holders you could use the brush holders while using the brushes because you could place it inside the tank or inwards and then of course you could also place the like this one you see in the video this is the outside brush holders it 
has like a reservoir so that the brush will like wick on the reservoir and not on your table. So I find this module super cool because you have like a bucket, the light blue colored bucket. And of course the brush holders you'll get four, two for like without without the reservoir and a couple more with the reservoir which is outside paint brushes and then of course a couple of black buckets wherein you could place a clean water on the other side and the other side could be your really dirty water and this one it has like a rubber padding at the bottom that you could remove and clean but it's really great when cleaning the brush because you could rub the bristles on those rubber paddings so that you could clean clean the brushes more effectively. So this is really good stuff in terms, in my opinion, this module is like the main module for me. And of course it has the handles and you could actually just have this and I think you'll enjoy using this module on its own. So the brush holders you could put inside and inwards if you want the brushes to stay wet and the the like you have water a little bit of water there or you have mineral spirits if you're painting with oils and of course outside like the outward paint holders or brush holders they will like hold the brushes really well really tightly not too tight but if they're too tight if you're putting a really fat brush with the fat handle you just like pull it out diagonally or at an angle so that you could remove it easier with this one i'm just using normal size brush and it fits really really well now inside the box well at least the box that i got you get a couple of wet palette modules a couple of paint modules paint container modules and then of course the water tank module so i think another wet palette is a bit too much but you could set it up so that you have a couple of wet palettes especially if you if you find the wet palette kind of small so you could set up a couple of wet palettes because you'll get a couple of wet palette modules in terms of the paint storage module I don't think I personally need it for like I, I need a couple but you could see in the video that they latch together like horizontally or diagonally no not diagonally but horizon they can latch together and it's kind of cool you could use speed paints on the other side and of course normal paints on the wet palette so it's it's kind of cool you get a couple of different palettes as you paint your miniature so the latches seem hmm, so far pretty strong but of course these are new stuff so i can't really tell but then again you could still use this modular like containers or modules like separately even if you break the latches i think because the wet palette you don't really need to like latch it together and stuff like that but basically you could like design your own art box with me i think i did away like you can see in the video i did away with the extra wet palette module and the extra paint container module i am very happy with just one wet palette and of course one paint container module and the very nice water tank module Honestly, I'm a really sucker for stuff like this. Like you could organize it in different ways, which makes it fun. But before the reason why I, it took me a while to really put up this video was that before I actually tested it, like test the wet palette and stuff, I was playing around with my setup. So I really enjoyed the setting up of my art box before I was able to test the, the actual wet palette. So the wet palette kind of worked well, but because the paper is not really that moisturized because it's kind of thick, because I think it was designed again for gouache or even oil paints, they said at the website and in the box. So it's kind of weird in a way for hobby acrylics because you really have to like thin the paint a little bit more 
But at the end of the day, it kind of worked. I was able to do finishing touches on my Chaos Space Marines. So basically, the wet palette would work as well or almost as well as dedicated wet palettes. And of course, the main bonus for this setup would be the brush holders because the water in the brush while you're not using it is like weaking downwards meaning it doesn't like travel throughout the ferrule and would rot the wooden handles eventually. Now for my final thoughts. Like the whole setup is super neat. You have the bucket, clean water on the other side and dirtier water on the other side. It's easy to refill those water because the black, like the black parts or black water tanks are removable. And of course, the best part of this is the brush handles or brush holders. To be honest, when I saw it at the website, I was really like, I need those brush holders. It will prolong the life of your brushes. One, because you could clean it thoroughly because there's a rubber pad at the bottom of the buckets. And then, of course, you're letting it dry at the side upside down, meaning the water will go away from the wooden ferrule, which will, like water will eventually rot the wooden handle. So it's, it's really great that we have these holders that would not rot the wooden handles. Like I said earlier in the video, this Crydrophy art box will be available at Kickstarter and I think they will sell it for $30 or $29. And just for the brush holders and the bucket, although it's easy to just use a mug and then use that as your water tank, or bucket this one because of the brush holders it made it like like worth it i think and the wet palette is a bonus and the paint storage is also a bonus so the whole setup especially if it's only 30 dollars i think it's so so worth it because i really had fun painting with this because of the setup you have everything that you need except the paints of course because we're using hobby paints that i don't think will work in the paint storage that's it pancit i hope you like the video and watch these other videos